Greetings, greetings from afar. Uh, I got sidetracked before I did this reading on Pruitt. So I hope the volume's okay on these videos because my dear neighbour next door, who's from Sparta, as he points out, um, loves to play very loud Greek religious music on a Sunday. And today is Sunday in Australia. Okay, so... You'd have to say it's a three-way three race. Who's going to get fired or leave next, really? Is it Pruitt? Is it Kelly? Is it Mattis? You know. Mind you, while we're looking over here, something's happening over there, so who the hell knows, really? Um, but with Kelly, I think Trump's doing that classic Trump thing. He wants him to go, doesn't want to fire him, so he's just going to marginalise him and be more of a bastard every day that he can, ignore everything he has to say and hope the guy resigns. It'll probably work. Okay, but this reading is going to be on Scott Pruitt, who is so up himself as to disappear entirely. He keeps spending taxpayers' money on security for himself. Millions are spent on security for Scott Pruitt. Um, I'm sure there are a few people who'd like to get rid of Scott Pruitt, but I don't believe they're actually out walking the tenderloin looking for hit men to go for Scott Pruitt. What's he afraid of, really? And, um, you know, he just spends inordinate amounts of money. Like Papadopoulos, I think he might have an alcohol problem. Uh, one viewer pointed out he was found unconscious in the foyer of the condominium that he rents for peanuts. They had to actually take legal action to get him out. He is just a little egotistical, you know, Führer who is single-handedly destroying the EPA. So we all know that before we start. So let's have a look via the Celtic Cross. Tell me about Pruitt. Let us see what is happening with this man. Oh, nicey nice cards. First, in the middle of the signifier, the lovers. Trump loves him. Well, of course, he does the dirty work. I'm just going to have a sip of this drink, excuse me. And he stands up to all experts. He stands up to any people in his department who are trying to do anything decent. So he's Trump's man. Women are celebrating, this is in the recent past, women celebrating kind of weird in this position. So I would have to assume, because the women of America are not um, running out in the streets celebrating Scott Pruitt, so you'd have to think this is within his family. So there are three women. I don't know what his domestic situation is other than the wife who also seems to spend every waking moment spending taxpayers' money, um, there are three women who are benefiting from this relationship between Trump and Pruitt. So they're happy. <clears throat> His cross to bear, or what's lying across that, the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, Wands being fire, willpower, galloping out there but with some sort of restraint so what this means the restraint is what is interesting here this is a warrior card but with caution and so i think what this means in relation to pruitt and his job at the epa is the legal constraints he can do a hell of a lot of damage but at the same time there are going to be restraints on him before the damage gets too 
permanent. Uh, underneath this new leader, I'm not quite sure, given it's a Pruitt reading, whether this is him as the new leader of the EPA or whether there will be a new leader of the EPA. We will see what happens here. <clears throat> More recent past, the star card. It's weird that he's getting all these glorious cards. But, so he was the star. This is in the past. He was the rising star, which was why Trump liked him. He promised Trump the world, and to a certain extent he's delivering. He just, you know, cuts things out. He doesn't care what goes into the nation's rivers. If the children living and drinking the water in those rivers are born with three heads, he couldn't give a flying fuck. He is the man for the job if you think like Trump. And if you are in bed with big business and you don't care about workers' health and you don't care about citizens' health, he's your man. So he was very well chosen. Ah, thank God for that. The tarot is now beginning to speak. This is the main card in relation to Scott Pruitt. This is the Eight of Wands, the hands being tied. This is interesting next to this. As I was saying, there are restraints being brought to bear and there are legal cases in the pipeline as we speak. So he's had this glorious run in his career, because I don't think he's the smartest tool in the shed. He's had a glorious run. How did he even come up as a name for this? You know, he's a climate-denying wanker of the first order. So this is overarching his reading. He's seen the halcyon days. He's seen the best of it. He has to spend up while he can because this is not a good card for him. Coming up soon, more the trade-off. He is condescending in his manner with employees. So he's a very elitist person. I'm the boss and you're the underlings. You will do what I say. Very elitist. I'm here to make money. Um, these are the scales of justice. I'm going to pretend I'm interested in justice, but I'm not. This is, um, it can be the card of deal making too, but I think already the gossip around his um, ethical behaviour is such that I'm not seeing a bright future as he had a bright past. How does Scott see himself? Oh, he's a rip-off merchant, and you know what? He's proud of it. He's proud of it. I'm going to get away with anything I can get away with. If you look at this figure closely, it's a happy figure. This is a figure that celebrates the rip-offs. This is so Scott Pruitt. That's him. And he's going to milk it till his last day in office. Over that, I'm very relieved to see the Page of Pentacles because in a traditional interpretation of the tarot, the red turban represents education and science. He's a denier. Science is coming out to get him. That's part, It's right on top of the card of restraint. So there's more energy, even though people have resigned from the EPA in despair and disgust, there are those who are hanging in. Those who are hanging in. Bless them, because it would be a horrible place to work. The atmosphere around Scott Pruitt, he's still in the good books. Notice how similar this is. This is the lover's card. This is the card of interpersonal relationships in Trump land, the Trump wings. So he's still under the protection of Trump. Coming out, yeah, the money he makes, he's going to hold on to as best he can. But because I suspect 
he actually drinks to excess. Um, he could stand to lose some money. But this is a card of movement too in the sense of I suspect he will be moving cities. Coming up, the card of the orator or the spokesperson. So he is not an orator. I can't think of a single thing he's ever said. He just does these dreadful deals in the middle of the night. So I suspect this is someone talking about Scott Pruitt. This is a person of dignity. This is a person who cares. So it's definitely not our man. It has to be someone talking about him. And I think in this position of coming up, it's that um, card of his ethical behaviour will bring him undone and remember the science. So eventually the science will come back. Oh, his final outcome card, judgment. Judgment, need I say more? He will be judged for this. So that is important. Oh, there we go. All right, everybody. Well, I mentioned Mattis at the beginning of this reading, so I might just do a quickie on Mattis. Let's see, we're talking about the shifting the decks, or shifting the chairs rather, on the decks of the Titanic here. So give me a moment to shuffle these cards. And we'll see what's happening with Mattis. So it'll be a short reading, so we'll just get an idea of what he's thinking. And will he stay or will he go? So... The central casting was complete with General Mattis. What is happening for him? Give us a look at Mattis. 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 All right. Now with Mattis, I'm just going to do a five card one. Okay, and his signifier is the Ace of Cups. Lots of energy, lots of emotional energy. Now, I haven't said this for a while, but I feel quite strongly intuitively in relation to Mattis and Trump this bird, traditionally the dove of peace, progressively becomes the mad bird diving into the chalice. So I think emotionally he's very churned up by this experience of serving under the toddler tyrant. I think emotionally he's quite disturbed. I don't mean mentally, I mean emotionally. He's seen his colleagues go and he is the remaining adult at the daycare centre, which is now closed. Okay, just having a sip here. All right. Now, in his recent past, the Queen of Wands... Again, I don't think this is an individual woman. I think this is more in terms of the energy of the wands of trying to be reasonable with an unreasonable person. It's always uncomfortable. He's very uncomfortable. Okay. So he's putting all his energy, the wands' energy, into the job and just trying to keep on top of the worst excesses of the Trump administration. 
So he's channeling that very um, solid Queen of Wands energy. Now, given that he is not only a male, but um, a militarized male, it's like he's using his feminine intuition, if you like. We're all composites of male and female energies. He's using that. It could also be what his wife's advice. But he's using that energy to try and stabilize the ship. However, underneath it, he's losing sleep at night. That's what I'm feeling. Poor old Mattis. He's, he's very, very disturbed by this. He loves his country and he's seeing it be destroyed. What's destroying it? Delusion, illusion, the megalomaniac. The megalomaniac who's not satisfied with any riches. You know, if you look here, it's um, jewels and money and kinds of, it doesn't matter. It is ruled by this guy who is totally starstruck and bedazzled by money and power. No prizes for guessing who that is. And if you can't work it out, it's the King of Pentacles, which is also a very Trump-esque card. Now, Mattis doesn't strike me as being someone who's ruled by money. I think he has loftier ideals of what it is to be an American and to serve America. The King of Pentacles doesn't have a clue. So that to me says Trump wins in that sense. I'm going to get an extra card out here. The Apprentice. Now, in this context of the Apprentice card, always a bit of a giggle with Trump, but Mattis tried in the early days, it seems to me, by this card. He tried to explain to Trump, you know what, you, you are this guy, you're dazzled by money and power, but you have to learn to grow into the job of president and you have to learn to take advice. And you have to learn to be told what to do that's in the best interests of the country. And, of course, Trump took no notice of that. So although I'm not seeing um, the walking away card here, um, I think this is in a holding pattern. He hasn't made up his mind. But he's very, very unhappy. He's losing sleep. He knows he's working for it a complete self-serving nutcase. He's done his best to explain how serious all these issues are and failed, and that's not a comfortable space. So it's no discredit to him. No one can impact on Trump land, on the Trump brain. So for now, Mattis is there. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. I'm going to upload these now. Bye.